the 2019 Buick Regal Torex. No longer your grandma's ride. This wagon definitely has a sporty look and feel. Keep watching to see how it tests out. So let me show you the front of this vehicle. Pretty much a fully blacked out interior. Ebony leather seats, this is an eight way powered adjusting seat with heat and lumbar support. Dashboard, also this soft black leathery look. It's complemented with a glossy wood grain and piano like looking trim and has just enough chrome details. Steering wheel feels pretty nice too and I love that the heated steering wheel button is actually on the wheel. Infotainment, you have this eight inch touchscreen display, easy to learn, straightforward. You don't need a PhD to learn this system and it's responsive to touch. Smartphone integration plus the best wireless charger I've seen yet. Phone slides down like this. Close it, you don't see it, you don't have that temptation to look at your phone when you're at a stoplight, God forbid, driving down the road. You know we've all done it, so I think this is a great feature. Overall storage ain't too shabby. You got pretty nice sized bins in the door, decent sized front, and even though the center console isn't too, too big, the vehicle I think makes up for it. Right here in the center, you have three additional cup holders, one which is very special. It kind of has its own little compartment. Key fobs, they run on batteries, and while you're not changing batteries all the time, it is something you have to think about. In this Buick, you have an actual charger for your key fob. Just stick it up front, charge it every once in a while, and you never have to worry about your key dying out on you. Yeah. And my favorite buttons up front, Access to the panoramic moonroof. You have a motorized sunshade, so much natural light. Now this moonroof opens right behind the passenger and driver's seat, but the glass extends almost all the way to that rear space with Andy. Now speaking of Andy, let's go check out that rear. Andy, you're so dirty. You got dirt all over your face. You need a bath. Great space back here, and not just because it's a wagon. Plus, when you plop those second row seats down, the space is insane. And I love the button on the sides. And you also have a little extra storage space under the floor in the sides and some tie downs. Plus, there's a cargo cover if you want to tuck away any precious goods. Andy says it is super easy to get in and out, especially when I pull up to a curb. You don't have to push a button and wait for some big old SUV to lower. You don't have to kill your back. And this is just another reason why wagons are so fur kid friendly. What are you doing? Are you rolling over? As I jump into the second row, I want to point something out. It is so easy to reach the top of this wagon. Now, I don't have roof rails on it, so I'm not going to put anything heavy on top. But just imagine if this were a kayak 
or a canoe. You don't have to carry a ladder or hang off the side of the car. It's perfect. split back here and I just made one minor adjustment just to make sure Andy was extra safe back here. That knob got a little too close to her eyes. No, leave it. Pretty much any vehicle that has this knob, I use a tennis ball now, but if anyone else has a better idea, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. I mean, it's not ideal, but it works. It doesn't fall off and Andy's pretty much learned to leave it. Now just because this is a wagon and might have a car-like feel, this back seat has plenty of space. Great leg room, the seats are comfortable, plus you can definitely fit three adults across. Now there is a middle hump, but my feet actually fit in the center. I also love how easy it is to give Andy a treat, a pet, a kiss, whatever she needs. Drink your water. Fold this down. You actually have a really soft padded armrest. The cup holder I feel like is where my elbow wants to go, but yeah, just slide it back. Plus some extra storage in the doors and behind these seats. Now these seats, they don't recline back, but when you want to push it down, really easy to do it. Hello! Now if you're in the market for a new car and you're trying to decide on an interior color, I highly recommend you go with something that matches your fur kid. But if you gotta go with black and you got a light colored dog like Andy, you'll just have to spend a little extra time vacuuming. That worked out great. I used my garage vac, got in all the nooks and crannies, super clean and ready to get all dirty again. Oh, Andy, let's get this wagon on the road. I love the way this thing drives. It might look long, but it doesn't feel big, and it feels like you're driving a car, which is so refreshing. Now, this thing has a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine, 250 horsepower, and 295 pound feet of torque. It's an eight speed automatic transmission with intelligent all wheel drive and an active twin clutch. As a matter of fact, this is built in Germany by Opel and it's called the Insignia Country Tourer. And there's even another model, there's two models. I don't know why wagons aren't big in America. Maybe people think they look dorky or they look like a hearse. Until I got behind the wheel of one, I didn't realize how much I love them and I honestly think wagons and pets make a perfect match, especially when you have a large dog like Andy. This model has the driver confidence package, which basically means it's got every safety feature you want. Adaptive cruise control, follow distance indicator, a forward collision alert, automatic braking, lane keep assist, departure warning, blind spot protection, backup camera, and I even read that you can program the key fob to team mode. So if you have a new driver, you can customize the settings to encourage better driving behavior. That's kind of neat. This Buick, you can lock the doors with the car on, run in, quickly use the bathroom, come back, and you're good. So I timed it. It stayed on for 20 minutes. Now, I'm not going to leave Andy on the road for 20 minutes, but my point is, if you got a long line at the rest stop, you don't have to worry about your car shutting off within like five minutes. And when the car is parked and on, it's so quiet, you don't even hear it. Infotainment, very easy to manipulate as you drive, and I love that there are dedicated buttons for climate control. This might have a big booty, but let me tell you, this thing is gonna pull out so fast, you don't have to worry about anyone hitting your booty in this ride. It's got great speed. And you're doing such a good job not touching that tennis ball. So Andy and I had a little dog discussion and our top five favorite features are, one, the gorgeous moonroof. Can't go wrong with that big thing. Plus, Andy loves the breeze. <laughs> Two, space. You benefit from so many options. Plenty of space for a fur kid and more. Three, the intelligent all wheel drive system. Feels very secure and planted on the road. Four, I love that the second row seats go fully flat. Can't always find that in a crossover or an SUV. And five, this low profile stance. Big thanks to 
Buick for letting us lab test this 2019 Regal Tour X. Andy, is it lab approved? It's lab approved! And don't forget, the giveaway! So we partnered with Waterpick. We're giving away three units, and all you need to do to enter, subscribe to this channel, follow Andy on Instagram, and comment down below with your Instagram handle. And I'll announce the winner in two weeks. It's as simple as that. We'll see you next time. Bye.